maths. It's everywhere, right? And then you gotta you gotta be able to do maths um to be able to at least have some sort of uh, successful thing. But you know, unless you unless you wanna work at McDonald's, in which that case, you know, pick A level English to uh, further strengthen your communication skills with your customers. But otherwise, if you actually want a job which will give you at least um, good pay, you need maths, right? You can't escape from it. It's always there. The first stage is actually learn about numbers. You know, you start counting, you actually start learning, oh, 1 plus 1 equals 2, right? And that's amazing. And then you get division, you get multiplication. It's all good. And then you start taking baby steps. You start taking your, that knowledge and you're like, whoa, 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 now we're adding shapes. You know, we got perimeters, we got areas, and we got volumes. That is insane, right? Now I can calculate the volume of my apple. You start learning trigonometry, you start learning probability, you know, all these important concepts which uh, then get like uh, crazy next in a high, higher mathematics. But once you start learning all about probability, all about trig, all about volumes and all that stuff, you are then are slapped in the face by calculus. Jump from uh, trig, normal stuff to calculus is like you got calculus 2, calculus 3, all this stuff, you learn all these concepts like vectors, you learn integrals, you got differentiation, important concepts, you know, this is uh, not only just important for uh, physics, it's important for economics, you know, it's good to have an idea of uh, how to um, um, look at graphs, because graphs are very important in economics, you gotta be able to understand and then you got, you know, calculus 3, where shit just goes crazy, you just, you just start throwing everything, you know, how many integrals can we get, you know, let, how about, how about we add four integrals, one, triple integrals, you've got, um, vector calculus, you've got all this stuff, I'd recommend to, you, uh, to learn the Greek alphabet, because, uh, you know, numbers, they don't exist, right, you learn calculus, you do all this stuff, and, uh, and you're good with it, but then, you take your calculus skills, right, and you go on to stage four. Now that you learn calculus and all these important concepts, what do I do with them? You know, usually you use maths and uh, you do you go on to do stuff like engineering, or maybe um, a research physicist, maybe like a, uh, I don't know, a rocket engineer to design like actual stuff which use a very complex math. You know, for example, in the UK system, GCSE and maths, it's all about probability and all that stuff. And then you go to A-level maths, take a hit, and you're like, what the f***? Uh, you know, you got A-level further maths, geometry that you and, you, and you start to see the trigonometry that you learned in um, GCSE maths, and you start to think about all the good times. Nah, let's go to polar coordinates. <laughs>